Good morning, traders. Joseph here for ACAP. Welcome to this week's Trading View Asian Session Outlook. So we'll start with some of the key news, and it revolves around oil. So oil's been having a pretty good run of late. Uh, we can see Friday session here. It's a nice, strong session, and we are expecting a bit of a gap to the upside once uh, the market starts trading uh, this morning. Uh, if you didn't know. Uh, OPEC announced um, surprise cuts on Sunday, and I'm sure you would have read it in the headlines. So, the cuts are around uh, one, you know, 1.15 million barrels per day. Uh, these are surprise cuts, so we're expecting it's going to have a bit of an impact on the market uh, once it opens, and it would be pretty safe to guess that uh, this impact will be to the upside. So, I find that it is interesting. We I did. Uh, sorry, we have um, mentioned this in the past when oil was trading below 70. We were wondering if we were going to see any type of um, action by OPEC and uh, surprising that it is now after the market is trading above um, $70 again, but it, it is a uh, reality and um, it is going to hit. So we are you know, expecting a gap uh, on oil once it opens and um, no surprises there has been tweets uh, from the US in regards to that, and um, yeah, obviously uh, oil is uh, one of the uh, is a uh, contributor to inflation, and uh, the higher the price, uh, the higher the costs uh, for certain you know, certain aspects of, of the economy. So we did see this uh, when the uh, war, when Russia invaded Ukraine, uh, we did see oil prices spike, and we do remember the uh, impact that had, especially on uh, fuel costs, shipping costs, uh, and that also has a uh, knock-on effect in production costs and it just generally just adds to the cost of um, a lot of manufacturing and uh, a lot of business expense so it's going to be interesting to see where oil does come out this morning um, but yeah we are expecting it's going to be a decent gap um, also with the market being so bullish at the moment on the short term um, it could add really feed to the fire so will be, um, yeah, so definitely keep an eye on oil. So other markets, um, we saw very strong uh, moves on stocks, um, well, solid moves on stocks uh, over Friday session. We saw the PCE uh, come in lower than expected at 0.3%. Um, that was just below the uh, 04 So that's good news on the inflation front in the States. It shows another decline there. And... Uh, Canadian GDP came in better than expected at 0.5%. Now, the Canadian economy also um, has a pretty heavy weighting with um, energy prices and oil. So we, that's also a factor as well that could play out. So I don't believe they're a member of OPEC, but they are a uh, crude producer. So the, um, something as well that could benefit the uh, Canadian economy on the short term. And this morning so far, we are seeing some lower moves from risk currencies to the dollar. So the dollar had a solid fight back as well on uh, Friday. It's uh, two days in a row now of buying. So there's some decent support here that we can see. Uh, it's at 10208. And um, we can see now that uh, buyers are trying to get back up to test uh, this moving average here. There is a bit of a break of this trend line here. And you see and that decent support coming in there. So. Um, this could be on the back of things continuing to calm down with the, uh, the banking uh, crisis that we did see recently. And stocks as well rising could be another factor to do with that. Uh, on, so we'll just look at some of the indexes. So we can see here the NASDAQ has um, started the week a little bit lower and um, there could be some uncertainty from uh, oil prices and what ramifications that will have. But I think that's a little bit too soon to say, but we can just see here the Nasdaq blasted above uh, this resistance here and uh, came up and tested this high not seen since all the way back in uh, the 8th, you know, August last year and um, had a test of that high as well. So tech continues to really lead. Uh, the SPX follows uh, behind. Uh, we still haven't got back up to these highs yet and um, the US 30, which has probably was hit the hardest over that crisis. Um, it continues to uh, push higher and be looking to see if it can get up and test this uh, this area of possible resistance at uh, 33461. And so other markets as well, we're seeing a little gains to the yen, but the yen was firm on Friday. We did see uh, some a little bit of a fight back from it. So the dollar uh, continues to, um, to 
push higher to the to the yen, uh, but we did see that, that fade uh, late on Friday, and um, other other risk markets had a bit of a pullback. And so resistance still stands for the pound at 164.43 at this stage, and for the euro, uh, we do have resistance here at 145.32, and for the Aussie, uh, there is just a bit more. There's still resistance up around that you know that 89.09 area, and um, the Aussie probably looks the worst out of the three at the moment, but there is a V pattern here. So if we do have a bit of a, a pullback, we will possibly be looking for a new rally. We're still overall uh, looking for buyers to probably take control on the yen. Um, the situation still looks pretty good with this nice leg higher on all three markets. And um, we're just looking now to see what happens with this, with this retracement and if uh, buyers can refine a bit of um, demand and, and find a bit more a bit of control again if we do see a new leg but we'll be looking to hopefully see those levels of resistance beaten that we just uh, mentioned then just to show that this uh, up leg is underway and going to continue and um, continue to move higher so with the with some of the other the markets today so the pound and the, the euro and the aussie they're all trading lower and uh, we'll be looking for probably the index to come out a little bit firmer as well when it does uh, come back into play it's pretty decent resistance here on the pound at 1.2415 and the euro uh, we do have this short term resistance here that's holding in play and that's 1.0911 and for the Aussie uh, we do have this res resistance here that continues to stay in place at 0.6720 and we can see that the sellers are pushing lower here and we'd like to see if this level here at 66.45 can hold for buyers. Uh, this week coming up we have uh, a few things for the well, the key one for the Aussie is the RBA. Now, um, at the moment, they're looking for rates to be increased again. The expectation is an increase up to 3.85%, which is 25 points. There is a lot of talk, though, of a hold. So it is a pretty interesting situation now. If we do see a hold and they're expecting a rise, um, this could be pretty bad for the Aussie, and um, we could see a very fast break lower. So. Could be an interesting one tomorrow. The rate decision is at 2.30 tomorrow, so it's definitely one to keep an eye, uh, an eye on. And uh, with the, I did think maybe they could be expecting a hold, but obviously um, they are looking for the RBA to continue to work on the uh, inflation, which was at 6.8% last week. It was lower than expected, but obviously it's still a pretty firm number, and uh, this they're still looking for the uh, RBA to take action to uh, try and bring that number Sorry, sorry, a bit of an itchy throat. So they are still looking for the RBA to uh, continue to push that uh, inflation number down. So it could be a, it could be a bit of excitement tomorrow, depending on what happens. Now the uh, Reserve Bank of New Zealand also meets. Uh, they're looking for a 25 point increase. Will take rates up to five percent. And um, the daily savings uh, came back uh, on. Sorry, was taken off on uh, Sunday morning. So we now regained uh, one hour so and so things have basically returned to that normal uh, winter you know normal trading hours uh, for, the, for the year until daylight savings come back locally in Australia so we have um, Monday this evening at um, midnight we have ISM manufacturing coming out from the US and they're looking for 47.5 we also have a Swiss CPI they're looking for an sorry an, a decrease to 0.4 percent and we have a shortened trading week this week with the Easter uh, holidays coming up on Good Friday and we have a holiday as well next Monday for uh, Easter Monday. So there won't be any updates on Friday and on Monday due to those holidays. Um, I'm looking to enjoy them. Now um, also just probably the big key one, we have employ uh, Canadian employment coming out this week. So employment change at 10.5k, lower, th lower than the 21.8 last uh, employment looking for an increase of unemployment, sorry, to 5.1 and uh, US unemployment claims they're looking for 200k. Uh, but the key one that will be coming out on Friday, um, as it does on the first Friday of every month, is uh, non farm employment. They're looking for 3.6% unemployment and uh, employment change to coming lower at 235k and uh, average earnings to increase to 0 0.3. So, it will be interesting to see if we have uh, this of uh, employment data coming out higher than what's been expected. We have seen uh, this 
occur a couple times in recent history. So we need to see if we do see that again. Obviously, if there is a miss below that um, that figure, that could then uh, you know continue to take a little bit heat off uh, the economy of what's been happening. But if we do see you know continue to see hotter numbers, that could have some impact on uh, stocks as well as um, currencies, as we have seen uh, you know in the past. So we'll have a, um, just check the ASX. So it's come online. It should be trading higher this morning after some some firm leads. So it has started uh, 9.80 points higher and at 0.14%. And we'll just touch on crypto before we wrap up today. Um, but here we here we uh, see oil has opened. So we can see that gap. It's a six percent uh, jump. So it's trading at eighty dollars at the moment. USO USD. So it's quite uh, quite an exciting. Uh, Push higher there. That's a one, you know, giant gap. So we are um, setting up at uh, resistance. We haven't seen tested really since February, and that's at 80.45. And there's a bit more resistance as well up at 82. But definitely watch and uh, keep good uh, watch on oil today to see if we do see a continued push higher and just what this uh, surprise um, surprise cuts means to the market. And if we we do see. Uh, if we do see a bit of a fade after the gap, and then if we do see a pullback and then a push higher into the European session today, but that really is, um, you know, quite a uh, substantial jump this morning. Six percent is um, not a small figure at all. So, yeah, um, quite quite a uh, interesting start to the week, uh, oil-wise anyway, so far. So. Quickly on uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, the key ones continue to really, you know, to push. Um, obviously, Ripple's had some um, some pretty firm movements of late. Uh, we did see last week those really those really two strong drives higher. We have seen a bit of a pullback, but this trend remains very firm. And we'll um, just look to see if we do see a, a new lower high and a new move lower. That could be a bit of a worry, but uh, if we do see this point here hold for buyers and we do see a new push higher to test up at you know 0 0.54. Would be a positive for the market and just touching on the other two key uh, key markets is uh, ethereum and bitcoin so eth uh, we're still in this ranging sort of basing pattern here uh, we have a lot of resistance up at 1821 we'd like to see a test and a break of that area really just to get this trend back on track and we can see um how the lot of you know indecision at the market at this point but we do have this high low here but we really do need to uh, get above that resistance and for bitcoin same story we have a lot of resistance up here really from 28,400 you know, 28, all the way up to uh, you know 28,878 uh, we need to see really clear this area to get this trend back on track and um, it's, it might be just me, but we do see a uh, slight uh, ending diagonal just starting to set, set up there. So keep an eye on that one as well. Um, ending diagonals can be a reversal pattern. Uh, if we do see a move lower, uh, we'll be looking to see um, this level here come in and remain as key support at 26.989. So a couple of things going on. Uh, we'll just go back to oil. So that was a surprise. Uh, surprise supply uh, cuts from OPEC um, yesterday and it has really sent some um, fireworks through the uh, crude markets this morning so definitely keep an eye on, an eye on oil and uh, the RBA uh, rates decision coming out tomorrow that could be a very interesting one locally depending on if they hold rates or if they do raise rates um, there will be a fair bit of uh, flack sent to the RBA if they do raise rates but We'll see uh, how that one works out tomorrow. And then the uh, non-fund payrolls on Friday. If you are um, taking Easter off, we wish you a fantastic holiday. And um, thanks very much for your time this morning. I uh, wish you all the best of your trading for the week. And if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like to uh, talk to us about, feel free to um, ask us a question on Twitter or send us a, an email in and I'll be happy to... Uh, answer questions or um, yep, anything you'd like. So thanks again and wish you all the best for the week. Thanks and bye for now.